So now we are going to implement our recurrent neural network. So usually recurrent neural network is mainly used for time series analysis. So now what we are just going to do is this RNN which is mainly for time series analysis. So like this is a temporal which is in the cerebrum. So now we are just going to discuss about how to implement this. So now first step here we need to start to import our numpy as like same so imported numpy and then i am just importing my pandas and then the next step is we are going to import our matplotlib.pyplot as plt so we imported our libraries so the next step what we need to do here is we need to deal our uh, csv files so now i am going to import our training data set so data set underscore train equal pandas dot read underscore csv so now which data set we are going to read that's nothing but google underscore stock underscore price underscore train dot csv so we just read it our pandas file so training underscore set equal data set underscore train dot index locate all the rows one to two column this is what we are just going to get and that values we are going to get so now we just read our training data set so after this what we are just going to apply that's nothing but future scaling so now what we are just going to do is from skitland dot pre processing import minimum maximum scalar so we are having a lot of methods now we are just going to import this so first we will run this we imported a numpy we imported the pandas we imported the matplotlib and we imported our training data set and we just imported the minimum scalar so this is what our data set is so this is the training data set this is nothing but the google stock market uh, price because this recurrent neural network which is mainly used to calculate the time series analysis so what is time series analysis based on time we are just going to analyze the report so now we need to apply the minimum maximum scalar here so the variable name minimum maximum scalar and then i am just going to apply future underscore range equal 0 comma 1 yeah future underscore range 0 comma 1 yeah we did this then we need to start to apply training underscore set underscore scaled equal sc dot fit so now what we are just going to fit here is transform training underscore set okay so now we just did this so future scaling from skitland or preprocessing import minimum maximum scalar so the minimum maximum scalar the future range also we just imported so this all the preprocessing step we already did so now we need to make our data structure with 60 timestamps and one output so i am just creating a variable name uh, xtrain equal to the empty list and then y underscore train also equal to empty list so now for i in range of what i am just going to given here is 60 comma let's we give 1 to 5 a this much of range i want to build now so now what i am just going to do is x underscore train dot append so now what i am just going to append here is training underscore 
set underscore scaled this is what i am just going to append so now for i to 60 colon i comma uh, 0 so the next thing is y underscore train so now what we are just going to append here is training underscore set underscore what we are just going to given here is scaled okay so now again i comma zero so this is what we just going to append and extend so now we are just going to create an x train and a y train based on numpy array so x train comma uh, y underscore train equal numpy dot array so numpy dot array now numpy dot array so this array what we are just going to given here is x underscore train uh, comma numpy dot array y underscore train so we just did this numpy dot array numpy dot array x train y train we just did let's we run this to check either there is any error great we doesn't have any error right now so now we need to apply the reshaping so this reshaping so how we are just going to get is x underscore train equal numpy dot reshape so x underscore train comma again x underscore train dot shape 0 comma x underscore train dot uh, again we are just going to get the uh, shape of our 1 comma 1 so we just apply the reshaping technology here so this all our pre-processing step like what we did till now this is our pre-processing step now we need to start to implement and we need to import our rnn technology here let's we start to do that so now what we are just doing is we just imported the basic building blocks which all needed for our RNN the sequential, dense, LSTM and a dropout this all the basic building models which is needed to import and create our KNN so now we need to initiate our KNN so I am just giving regressor equal sequential so this sequential that's nothing but which is used to initiate our stuff so now we need to add the first LSTM long short term memory layer and some drop down regulation. So now what we are just going to do is this regression what we are just going to do here is add. So now what we are going to add here that's nothing but units. So along with this units what now we are just going to do here that's nothing but 15 and then now we are just going to return our sequences equal true so now we are just giving our sequence equal to true input underscore shape equal what shape we are just going to given that's nothing but x underscore trying dot shape our uh, shape of our again we are just giving one comma one the shape which we are giving here so the next thing is whatever we don't want we are just going to uh, drop out this so odd so now I am just applying my drop out of my 0 0.2 this is my first convolutional uh, sorry recurrent layer so now we just give drop out 0.2 so this is the first term which needed 
so now i want to add the second term also so in the second term we need our lstm uh, okay here i just forgot to add the lstm because this is a long short term memory we need to define so all the argument before we need to give lstm and inside this lstm we will be having everything so like this now it's working fine so now the same thing we need to given here lstm long short term memory so here this is your second layer so for this units and written sequence is more than enough there is no need of input shape because this input shape we need to give only for our first layer so drop out everything is fine now i need to add one more layer so i'm just copying here and just adding a one more layer here so this is the third layer which is lstm and some dropout regulation and then again i want to add one more layer so in up to third we just give the written sequence and this is the last layer so there is no need of giving the written sequence so now we just created our recurrent layers now we need to add our output layer so adding the output layer that's nothing but regressor uh, that's nothing but our variable name dot add what i am just going to add here that's nothing but my dense and my units equal one so this is what now we just added this is my output layer so regressor dot add and dense units equal to one so now we just fix this now what i need to do is i need to compile this so for this compilation i am just giving regressor dot compile so this compile i need to give the same our optimizer so our optimizer that's nothing but we are just going to give our atom and then loss that we are just going to give our mean underscore squared uh, squared underscore error yeah we just did this this compile we did optimizer here this equal okay so now everything is fine now we need to fit our data set so regressor dot fit so what we are just going to fit this x train comma y underscore train comma epox so this epox equal 100 comma batch underscore size what we are just given is 32 so now we fit our training data set everything so this is our basic uh, recurrent model so now we need to get the stock market price from our training data set and we need to apply the same model here so whatever we just created previously now we need to make it done so now what we did is variable name i'm just concordinating our training data set for this two particular column and then the length of our things we are just getting the values and i just applied the transform here we are just applying the basic linear regression stuff regression dot predict and the inverse transform everything is our basic linear regression step then the next thing is we need to visualize the method so for this visualization we are just predicting everything in our uh, matplotlib so i'm just going to run this so this recurrent neural network which is nothing but mainly used to create our regression model so this regression model which is our basic machine learning regression so here whatever we did that's nothing but which is mainly used to create our regression linear regression and here whatever we did is our recurrent neural network so this is based on long short term memory so we will be just applying lstm and all our neural network arguments and then 
here I am just creating a variable name pandas.concordinate so for my uh, uh, training data set uh, this is the column name and the, the testing data set column name is our data set total and the length of data set total minus length of data set total minus the 60 colon that's nothing but our range so 60 to end those values we will be getting at an input those input again I am just going to shape and again I am going to transform it so this is mainly used to predict my stock market price of 2000 something after this I am just applying the same step for my testing data set so first I did for training and then I did for testing then we will be just creating our visualization report the normal plotting method for our uh, real stock price and a predicted stock price this real stock price is nothing but what is in your data set and this is our predicted stock price and here we will be having a lot of epochs total we are having a hundred epochs now we just run only the 10 epochs let's we need to wait till the remaining 90 to get complete so now our 100 epochs it's done for our 2000 data so with the time period of around uh, 5 minutes so this is what our google stock price versus our time so based on this time your google stock price is actually increasing but the predicted output is actually like this this is what our predicted output and this is what our google actual stock price so the here we give uh, the loss so which is 0 0.015 so the 5 meter of step so here the accuracy is probably only uh, 65 to 75 percentage uh, it's not bad but still we need to improve our accuracy so totally we just run our recurrent neural network based on our linear method so this is how to build our recurrent neural network based on long short term memory and then we just using our mean squared error to calculate our root mean squared error all those stuff so this is how to build our recurrent neural network